Bonjour everybody and welcome to another video and to my very empty apartment at the moment uh, but we're slowly filling that in. This is my current living situation. I have a rail and I have a lot of space but unfulfilled space which is why I decided I cannot really live like this anymore and needed some wardrobe space. Today is finally the day that the wardrobes have arrived after seven, ten, or like ten days living in absolute mess. I am finally super happy to share the wardrobes. I was thinking for a very long time what kind of wardrobes to get. Oh, oh you did me proud, mister. I was consulting with my friends, I spoke to Ksenia, I spoke to Sandra, and everybody kind of gave me the same advice. So, this is not going to be an easy job at all. The wardrobes have to go in there, but at the moment I have so much of my stuff here and we are yet to start filling this space in the spare room, so this does not look easy at all, to be honest. Anyway, I thought I would take you with me on a journey of Tamara getting her wardrobes volume 2 because you've already seen me do that, but this is the Parisian version. So it's gonna be pizza night and wardrobes night. Now let's do this together. The process is started, but it's gonna be a very long one and the chaos is beyond. It's not the best light and it's been many many hours later, but it's coming together. The ceilings are so high that um, I'm trying to understand if I will be actually able to reach um, the stuff. Currently I'm just putting the coats and things as it is to create space so that I can do stuff but actually um, tomorrow I will organize it all and I hope to be organizing it all with you. What I want to know if is there a joke when it starts with uh, Villa 2 Serbina Jan Italian? We have a lot of jokes that start like this, which are like they were an American, a Russian, and a Serbian, or in a Bosnian usually in the end, you know? So now it's two Serbian and Italian building a wardrobe. I don't know if there's a joke like that, but if there is, it seems to be working. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost midnight. Um, I don't know if you can see in the background there is some wardrobe done. It's still not fully done because there's so much to do and I'm currently on the bare bed, tired, but we had a massive, massive help. So this is almost done. It's pretty much similar <laughs> as the wardrobe that I have in England. In England I have this like one meter bit and the 75 but I don't have the middle so there's a bit more space here and also I have more space there but I have one more thing coming together. Important thing to say is that I also have like three other wardrobes so this is not the all of the wardrobe space. There's much more however I wanted to have a special room for dressing which also is going to be still usable as a bedroom as well but i realized when i started filming this i haven't really told you anything about this and i'm doing this all kind of like speaking to a friend but i'm forgetting constantly that i need to fill you in in everything that's going on and the processes and the things that we're doing but i'm just like a little bit all over the place so tomorrow i'm gonna sit down and fill you in all the details properly as I intend to do. Welcome to finally somewhat exciting space for me. So I have been thinking for a very long time what I'm gonna do. I decided to convert one of the rooms in the flat into basically a wardrobe. I mean I first thought I was gonna remove the bed as well but then I thought you know what it doesn't really bother me the bed it's there and it's always better because I want to have so many friends from back home and from England come visit me I want to have like as many people as possible come and stay over so I was like I keep the bed the idea was to have a wardrobe which is gonna be multifunctional and I really really needed something easy something that's gonna fit as much but it's gonna be quick I don't have six months to wait for a wardrobe installation and in Paris, to be honest, also, I don't really know many people that could do that for me, but I consulted all of my friends and they all said 
girl, you should just do IKEA. So I did what I did in my flat as well in England, and I think I did that in November. It was it November? It was a lot of work. Luckily, I had my mom help me do most of the things, and she helped me a lot. So I wanted to talk you through too what I chose. What I did is I decided to use all of the space. There was more space, but I didn't want to use all 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 of it. I hope you'll be able to see as much as possible. So I have two hanging spaces, one more very long hanging space, then a narrow part has two drawers at the bottom. It has three pull-out trays, which are, this is empty one for the belts. This is the one for sunglasses. I need to buy one of these because this will be perfect for the belts. And then I ordered these bits on Amazon. I mean, obviously I tried to imitate as much as I could, my storage at home because my storage at home is really great and I think it really works. So this space here is quite the longest one actually and I think it will fit so many things so I need to understand if I'm gonna put some coats there. Then I have two more hanging spaces here. Basically the most of the things that I have, like I think most of everything I have are blazers. Surprise surprise it's a blazer and suits and then also the coats and the dresses so I need a lot of hanging space. And then the shelves, but actually those shelves will be my handbag shelves and also some knitwear and those like foldable things. These are so brilliant. I like the shelf so much that I decided to get one more here. And I think here I will actually place the shoes. Sorry about the light here, but the light is for reals. It was quite a process, but I really love this room. I still have a little bit of space here where I could put some sort of like a working desk because you guys know how much I love working from my wardrobe. It inspires me the most. And then there's the bed at the back. I think this room is just so fun for getting dressed. And I also decided to get a massive mirror here where I can actually, um, you know, get dressed. Over here, I have a look and then leave. The mirror just arrived, so it's very dirty, so please excuse that. I will have to um, fix that. But once this all is done, I think it's going to be so, so beautiful. That's the basically main kind of takeaway. I would like it to just be amazing when it's done. And we're going to do it now together. I have a lot of stuff here, the bags and we're gonna do it together. Here, I want to keep this clean. I was thinking of actually keeping my bags here so that I can just pick one and here, you know, like pick a bag, try it on, pick a bag, try it on. But I think I have more bags in the space here. Plus, um, I wanna keep it clean and neat. I love this picture that I have here of the white cat in the woods. And then my favorite candles, which are the Dior 30 Montaigne. And I just bought this one in Gallery of Fire the other day. It's by Le Labo and it's Fig 15. This is insane. I have my team over, so I'm not going to be doing it by myself because honestly, this is such a hideous job. No, not hideous, okay, it's fun, but it's very, very time consuming and I don't have that much time. So I'm going to have some help. Also, one thing that I did is I bought a lot of same hangers at Ikea as well, just the white wooden ones. I think they're the best because I want to have all the same hangers. So let the games begin. Okay, starting with the blazers, ideally I would like to color coordinate them from the lightest to the darkest. And I usually come from here, so I like to look at them like this. So they're facing that side. Yeah, I'm a bit creepy like that. And I want to change all the hangers so that I have all the white hangers like I told you before. Mm, I wonder if this is more of a jacket or more of a blazer. This is easy. I can never have a top under the blazer because I can never find it. True. Like once I have something under another thing, it's like I don't lost. remember having since I, now for years, I have always wardrobe with the open door. It's so much better because I always can remember what I have. Where does this blue go? I forgot I have this actually. You never wore it. I bought it on a sale. This is the best thing about hiding the wardrobe. So, unless we put the coats here, but then it might be too long. But Let's try. It's mm -hmm. there usually, no? It was here, yeah. But this is longer space than this. But Shall we try with one cold? Let's see. I was more worried about the jewelry part. Mm, yeah, it's a bit too long, huh? 
Yeah, I think it's better not to hide your jewelry. Exactly. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Yeah, it's, it fits. It fits. Okay, so now the blazers are done and we're gonna put the day dresses here. It's probably like the kind of category that I usually have the most of. Uh, I'm gonna put coats here, even though I wanted to put them here, I don't want them to hide the jewelry drawer, which is gonna be beautiful. So let's do this now. Then we do the lighter ones here. I love these Bottega bags together. It's actually very this easy when you have... Put in here? Yeah. When you have help, something like this. When you have help, it's so much easier to do this. Maybe I'll try. What about this one? Let me get you the phone and see if it fits. Oh. This one is probably also summery, but I think I can still have a bit of it. Yeah. <sighs> this is evening or no? Kind of evening, but actually, it's day during the summer, but in the winter, it's probably just a cocktail. We can actually do jeans at the beginning. I, I wear the good jeans. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere there, yeah. yeah. We can also hang the jeans at the beginning and then have the trousers. That would be nice, I think. I realized that I wanted to put my day dresses here and I realized that I actually don't have that many dresses. Um, so I decided to put the trousers at the beginning as well as the jeans and then the dresses here because that way I will be able to see pretty much all the clothing as I'm getting dressed and then if the space starts getting tighter or like in summer when I have more day dresses then what I will do is I will have um, the suits all paired up and then I will have more day dresses here because you know day dresses are not really a thing during the winter months which are coming so gonna focus here on more like uh, clothes that I can wear. You have to do section by section, so we need this section, okay. but could you get yeah. from the LV bag the bags? I'm gonna put this bag at the top because I pretty much only wear her when I'm traveling. I put something inside so she can maintain the shape as much as possible because the bigger styles always are not maintaining the shape as much as you would want them to. The biggest baby is here, then my latest one over here she's missing actually the pink one that would be nice if the pink one would be here but since she's not here i'm gonna put this a little bit back and with my mini kelly and front so there we go you can tell that i planned this according to my bags um this shelf is a little bit more sh like um shorter so we do the constances here. Let me just get the bigger ones. I think this will have to be here. My LV babies. We got the navy Dior right here. I need more bug bags as it seems. Oh no, I'm wearing my body. So that one's over there. So I will leave a little space here. This one is kind of colorless. So it can even go here. And this one, it's quite decorative, but I think at the top of the wardrobe, I would like to keep the luggage. Uh, or maybe not. Here yeah, is the knitwear. Uh, the, the knitwear. knitwear. The knits go here. More like colorful ones. Over here. And I will have the more uh, more space for like the wintry ones. Though I also have more shelves, so you can fill that in. Guys, we're now actually running away. Today's been one of those days when I have so many things to do, like projects, shooting, emails, uh, friends, family, and I actually have an appointment. I'm running late, but I have so many things to do. But we're doing the evening dresses now, and I have to say that when I do this job by myself, this takes a whole day. But when you have help, it's amazing. Evening dresses make me so excited for evenings which are not happening. Evenings are kind of cancelled, you know, like evening wear is cancelled, but it's okay. That's why it's the narrowest section in my wardrobe because I don't really need that many evening dresses. But I just got recently this beautiful rotate one. It's like pretty cool. Is this better? I think this. So now it's like kind of short jackets. Well, not really. More like coats, but also the long coats section i don't have that many long coats yet here hopefully that will change soon 
hopefully soon I will have more longer jackets and more stuff in my wardrobe so that, you know, we can actually get stuff like uh, going for winter. So far all I have from the longer ones is this baby here so I'll put them at the end because they're longer so these are my three long jackets I have this one it used to belong to my boyfriend so he can say goodbye to it because I love it it's like a super chic lambal coat I just told him to say goodbye to it because I love it I think that's it oh my god how many jackets do I have guys also especially leather jackets don't let me buy any more coats and jackets so another one that I stole from my boyfriend Okay, this one here. Maybe at some later stage I will swap the coats to go here and the dresses and the trousers to go there. Ta -da! Is it a bit too cramped? Yes it is. But it's okay, it's okay. They're happy, they like it intimate and cozy. The tops are very important to me, especially because I film YouTube for YouTube, so I always need to have. Is this the last piece in my wardrobe? Is it? I think so. This one I might get out of my wardrobe because it seems too summer, it's organza. But for now, let's keep it in. So that is it, just the drawers left, right? We have done all of this wall pretty much i love how tidy it looks i have like the middle island left but that's okay i have a lot of like nice space there so i'm very happy about that and still have to do the shoes so we're gonna do that now i'm very happy how it's turned out even like as a little background never had my bags kind of laid out like that it looks pretty beautiful and some more nice are yet to come there so this is the process so far there's a lot in this suitcase, so let's dig in. You'll see I have like one very small one. Yeah. I put the sort of flat shoes there, but not the sandals. The sandals, uh, I don't know if I'll actually even keep them here for much longer. For now, I thought I'd put them up there. <laughs> fashion week and in the end there was really nothing going on during the fashion week like well conclusion and that is that I need more shoes look how much empty space um, I kind of planned the shelf so that it fits higher and unfoldable boots there then some of the flat current shoes here like moccasins and stuff then we have my darker high heels here more as well as some silvers then the colorful world of Amina Muadi here as well as um, some more kind of muted ones, the reds and nudes, white and more space for sneakers because we all know that I will need more sneakers, more space there for uh, kind of ankle boots and at the very top are my Chanel sandals, like old ones except from those. So here are the shoes that I didn't actually want to put in this wardrobe. I have a massive shoe storage at the entrance of the house and I will put them over there because I just think that here I'm sure I will have more like shoes for uh, autumn winter coming in as you guys know and then as we're getting more and more into winter I'll probably remove the uh, by far the wandler until the next summer the aminas even though they're so decorative they're so beautiful uh, but you know like as we go more into colder weather, I'm more gonna be needing boots and shoes than the sandals. But I just love this shoe shelf, I think it's so beautiful. And you know, around the New Year's time, you never know, I might go somewhere warm or I might be wearing them for the more festive season. So that's the current wardrobe situation. I love it so 
much. Remember how I told you that I would like to put um, my jewelry nicely organized? Now it's all here in this tray and I'm planning to put it all nicely here. A few more rings are missing because I took them off in the process of doing whatever and a few more things that go here but I love the way it looks right now and I'm very happy how organized it is. This makes me so pleased. It's a new day, I'm sure you could tell, right? I am not wearing what I was wearing anymore. Ta-da! And the wardrobe's not done yet, but I have done some major updates to it. So let me fill you in. What's very obvious is that the crammed jackets that were here, I decided to put there because I think they're gonna need much more space. And now with the colder months coming, this is just gonna be like, you know, there's gonna be more and more stuff here. So I really, really need to keep the jackets breathing. Uh, blazers are still here as it was. The dresses are now here where the coats were and this is basically a section of my kind of day dresses and evening dresses this fit hanger is because i'm wearing this prada dress sorry for the mess guys this is like uh this is work in progress tops are still here but i decided to put jeans here now you might be thinking why girl with all of this free space. And I mean, I'm thinking the same, because if you think about it, this doesn't make much sense. But even the longest coats kind of work here, because I cannot explain it, but this is really tall. So it's enough space for the long things. If you see, this is quite like a midi dress and it's not even touching the floor. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy two more shelves here. So we're gonna have a shelf and the shelf. Jewelry is still gonna go on top, I believe, like somewhere here here and I'm gonna put more nets uh, because I will for sure need more space than that you know like I have a lot of a lot of lot of lot of nets when it comes to winter I think I will need more stuff to kind of like fold what's really great is that in this wardrobe I don't need to keep underwear um, socks what's it called like hoodies and track suits because I still have another wardrobe in my bedroom and because I mainly use the master, master bathroom I need my underwear the socks the track suits and the comfy wear the gym wear blah 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 there I don't need it here so this is just for dressing the plan is to kind of like get dressed here choose my bag choose my shoes keep the samples here, keep everything like for dressing and then have a look at the outfit and leave. And so far it's been working really, really well. I also uh, finished the sunglasses drawer, including my two uh, nano baguettes from Fendi. This is the one that smells like, um, like cherry blossom. It's so beautiful. This is the artist collaboration, including some of the little twillies there and the little Chanel tiny bag. Then the belts are here, so we have mainly like my three Bottega belts, the Saint Laurent one, this little Chanel belt bag, Etro, and I have my two bucket bags, one from Dior, no, one from Dior and one from Prada, yes. And Valentino. Over here it's empty, and I intend of putting my decorative tights here because we're getting into autumn, so all the ones with like Gucci print, with Chanel print, with, I don't know, like all the different decorative tights. And over here, I have no idea, but I guess I could put more accessories, more stuff uh, that I need, like scarves perhaps, because we are getting into the colder month, and I have actually quite a few scarves, so I'll do that right now. I recently got many Chanel scarves as well, so I will try and make sure that I put them all here, and perhaps like other winter accessories. I want to go skiing this year if that can materialize. I'm very happy how this turned out. Um, I still need to fill some of the gaps, but that's the whole point. I like, I like having a space because otherwise it's too crammed. And now if you ask me, this is the hardest part and why I say that is because I think it's quite easy to like do the general stuff like the kind of stuff that is bigger, larger, takes kind of more space but the little tiny things like a random belt, a random shorts, you know, things out of category like things that are not, cannot be easily grouped on any of these shelves and racks 
So, yeah, the toughest part starts now. I need to find home for all of those things. Also, I have the suitcases and I thought it would be best to place them over there because nowadays I don't really need the suitcases that often, but um, I think it would be quite cool to put them up there. This is not an easy job. Yes! I'm gonna take those tags off because they're aesthetically not pleasing and I think I have one more hand luggage so good morning everybody last day of wardrobe chronicles I have to say that the wardrobe took a while to be ready and it's 96% ready there's still a few things that I need to do in the room but I will talk you through it as I do a reveal. I actually wanted to leave the kind of final reveal uh, for the morning because in the morning I get the most beautiful light in there which is so nice because um, obviously when you get up and you want to get dressed there's nothing more motivating than being in a room full of natural beautiful light. So I'm gonna take you there now and show it to you. Okay so as we enter now there's no more stuff in here. This is the final look of the room and I'm really really happy with how it turned out this is the shoe section and there is quite a bit of empty space here next to the window so I was even thinking of maybe putting a mirror over there the mirror is still dirty this mirror I wanted to put back please ignore my styling um, this is my home look this morning I'm waiting on those two shelves that are gonna go here so that there's not this much space here and I guess those two shelves I'll be able to alternate and kind of take them out and put them back in if and when I need more space here so everything is as you've already seen i place the suitcases up there my handbag section is here i um really would love to go back home to england to get a few more from my collection but this is what it is here so far but the jeans might go over there when i get the extra shelves or even over here so i might have jeans kind of just folded here that could be easier over here i have just one fragrance normally i keep my fragrances in the bathroom but this is my signature scent it's a jo malone Mer and tonka and i keep it here because sometimes i just get dressed here i put my shoes there, I spray perfume already and I leave. You already have seen these drawers. So the first one is jewelry. The second one is sunglasses, belts. I have changed things now to keep all the t-shirts and basic tops here because I don't have that many t-shirts right now, but I like to have them for under blazers and just like undernights and things like that. Then here I have some bodies, lighter tops, etc things that i don't want to hang because they would drag and in the bottom bottom one i have my two bucket hats um the two scarves these are the accessories for prada boots the like prada headband with the crystals and some of my fashion tights these are the latest ones that i got from prada fashion show i love them so much and the chanel ones i don't I haven't actually worn them yet for the video with the shoes i would definitely uh bring more shoes next time i go back to england but also i have so many on my wish list for autumn winter so i will be um i will be shopping shoes of course you guys know how much i love shoes i like to keep this area clear because i think like when i get samples in and when things are arriving i would be able to put them there and have a spot for them so that it's easier this is a fireplace apparently well, some people told me that having a fireplace and fire, like functioning fireplace in Paris is not allowed, but I think this is a functioning fireplace, so it's going to be very nice to have it. Then here, like I said, it's an empty space, and I don't know yet if I'm going to put a rail there for, like, some, for example, for fashion weeks and things like that to have easier access to the clothes. This light is for reels and for videos. What I love the most in this room is beautiful decoration on the walls. I think this is so stunning and um, the ceilings are so hot. It gives me such a beautiful kind of feeling of space. Yeah, I guess as the things are progressing more, I will update you. I will let you know how it goes. And until then, 
thank you for watching let me know what you think about the wardrobe oh one last thing this view so somebody has asked me why i have i have two of these pictures in my house of a girl like a super cool girl smoking a cigarette so someone's asked me if i um smoke and if i support smoking and why would i have a girl that's smoking in the back of my bed and the answer is no i don't smoke i've never smoked in my life but i think this is such a cool picture i have quite a few cool frames um in the house and i will show them to you as i'm revealing the home a little bit more that is it for now thank you for watching let me know what you think about the wardrobe if you have any advice if you think there's something that i need to get and i should be getting please let me know in the comments below until the next time kisses